Hey everyone, it's me, Ex Canadensis, and today I'm so excited because I finally get to formally reintroduce you guys to the Fiji Friends dolls. So if you haven't heard me talk about these yet, I went to New York City twice this year to preview new toys, and the Fiji Friends were there both times, and they are one of my absolute favorite doll releases this year. I think they are incredible, and I'm so, so excited to finally have my hands on them. And today we're going to be unboxing Unicorn Sprinkles because I'll explain, but... My favorite one sold out, and I've bought two of another one, and I'll show you what's going on with that. Um, but first, let's check out the packaging. So I ordered this doll on Walmart.com about a week ago. You can see that it says Fidgy Friends, Forever Fidget Friends, and it shows some of the fidget features. So she has hair popper clip, slow foam skirt, and stretchy pigtails. And there's a little try me for the skirt. And Unicorn Sprinkles her name. It says these are rated for ages six and up. And it says Fidgy Friends, Forever Fidget Friends, and there's the Fidgy features again. The back of the box features the absolutely gorgeous character art. And it says these friends will touch your heart with their unique feel for fashion. These girls have the magic touch for the coolest outfits. Join in the fashion fun and become forever fidget friends. And then for specifically Unicorn Sprinkles... Unicorn Sprinkles is the sweetest of the friends who naturally has the biggest sweet tooth. She loves twirling her colorful pigtails while thinking up fancy desserts. Unicorn's motto is that everything tastes better with rainbow sprinkles. And then you can see the UPC here. And yeah, so now let's get her out of the box. So while I unbox this doll, I wanted to talk a little bit more about her. So these dolls are made by a company called Sunny Days Entertainment. And um, what I know them from are the Honey Bee Acres, little Calico Critters style dolls. Um, they're like little animal figures that are sold at Walmart and I absolutely love them. Stay tuned because I am really, really hoping to do some videos about those soon. And I first was introduced to this company at Sweet Sweet the event. I did pay for this with my own money. The samples that I was offered would not ship until November and honestly I really want to support this release. I really enjoy these and I want to make sure you guys are aware of them early so I wanted to make a video about these now. So the purpose of these is to combine the experience of having a fashion doll which um, often for a lot of people is a support item, a friend, um, it's familiar, it's a person, you know there's things like that. Um, but also having fidget features, you know, which helps with anxiety and stuff like that. <laughs> when I was a kid, I just had to learn to cope with that sort of stuff. So it's really nice that it's become a bit more, uh, I don't know how to explain, but like understood. Like you can actually have stuff like this at school. Obviously, maybe you can't bring like a fashion doll, but you know, I just really appreciate the emphasis on kind of normal coping mechanisms for kids and developing them early as opposed to being punished for having coping mechanisms, I guess. Um, all right, so my doll is now out of the box. So all that comes with your doll is the doll herself and the um, hairpiece for this particular doll. And I wanted to show you because I did purchase Watermelon, which is the Watermelon Mermaid one. And I've purchased two of her now. So this is the second one that I bought. She's still in box. And unfortunately, I can't really recommend buying these online. And I'll show you why. But if you need her UPC, there it is. Hopefully these start showing up on Walmart shelves soon. Because, um, yeah, so there's some problems. This is most likely for the first batch. And especially because these are the first dolls this company has ever made. Often the first run of dolls turns out very sloppy and you can see that with even Rainbow High back when they first came out. So um, this is why I don't recommend ordering them online because you might get one that's pretty messed up. So this watermelon, as you can see, has her eye paint really misplaced and her actual eyes are wonky. Um, this is the second one that I bought though, so what's up with the first one? The first one that I bought, I actually customized because I was just for fun like, okay, she was really bad, I'll insert a picture. Um, her eyes were really wonky, so I wanted to see if I could fix them, and I was going to do a video on how to fix them. But um, if you want to see a video on customizing these dolls, let me know, because this was actually really fun, and I really like the turnout, and I would be happy to do it with other characters. But anyway, this is how my watermelon is now, so I ended up putting her on a rainbow high body and giving her these are fantasy friend eye chips which are the like mini rainbow high dolls that came out before rainbow high um my doll here has some misprinted makeup but i'm just gonna acetone that off probably just get the paint off and um yeah so her eyes were super misplaced as you saw 
So I was just playing around with her and this is what I came up with. I actually really like this. She's a bit messy though. I need to fix her hair again. I'm really bad with bangs. And I actually cut the bangs because I couldn't really get this to happen again because I really like these big poofy bangs. But um, anyway, all that is to say, I, I will attach the links in the description to buy these online, but I would recommend waiting until they show up in stores, which I've been told is going to be around November. Unicorn Sprinkles is now out of the box and this is what she's looking like. I'm really, really loving this one. As you saw, the only other ones that I have are the mermaid ones. And honestly, as much of a mermaid person as I am, I'm really, really loving the articulation, the extra articulation that these have. And we will go over that in detail as well as look at the bodies of these dolls for those of you who like customizing or want to do restyles of these dolls. We'll get there. So for starters, as always, I want to look at her face and she is so cute. I really love the face style of these. When they're printed properly, I got very lucky with this one, they're absolutely gorgeous. And again, if you guys want to see a video on customizing these, let me know because their eyes are actually quite different than what you would expect them to be. Um, but they're they're really nice. They're, they're very simple, but I think they match the art style quite well. And the paint actually is quite pixelated, which means they're using like a tampo, which is, they print it and then they stamp it on is what I'm pretty sure goes on. Um, to me, it almost looks like glitter, but that can be drawing and I know people dislike it. And her paint got chipped when I was switching her eyes out, but you can see that she also has the pixelation. So, so that's something to look out for. I imagine that possibly they would switch to another method later on, but I'm not sure. But to me, and I say this with any doll with pixelation, if when I zoom out or when I'm looking at the doll myself, I can't really see it that well, I'm not too bothered by it. And this doll, as opposed to the others, does not have a full head of hair because she has these really interesting fidget features. So I'm actually really curious on how this works because she has a fully rooted head of hair, which I wasn't expecting. Like, it's a bit balder than, say, the other one that I have, Watermelon. She has a lot more hair on her head. But this one, I mean, has rows of plugs. How cool is that? I really wouldn't have expected them to do that. I would think they would sculpt that. Um, anyway, the hair is super nice nylon hair. It's very, very soft. It's shiny. It's silky. It's very pretty eyebrows. The eyebrows being pixelated is a bit of a problem, but um, <laughs> both of the dolls I have have bangs, so it hasn't bothered me too much. Um, this is the headband piece that comes off. Hers is more of just like a dollop of whipped cream, and the feature of all of these is that you can actually pop out a little thing, so this one has a unicorn, which is pretty cool. And this piece is made out of um, some kind of latex, not latex probably, it's probably silicone or rubber, um, so it's a bit uh, greasy feeling almost. But it's really fun. Like, I feel like this is a really fun little thing. You know? It's cute. And you can actually get the unicorn to stay out if you want it displayed like that. Um, and then there's a little horn. I like that this is painted and not just like a really ugly unpainted accessory, I guess. And then there's this little barrette thing so you can just slide it through. I'm thinking maybe that's why they rooted her head fully. But I'm just really impressed that they did it. And I think it looks really good on the head. Of course, it looks better in the art on the box, as you can see. But I think they did a good job. I think it looks really good. I love the little sprinkles, by the way. And then the bows are my least favorite. <laughs> they don't look very good. They're not really hemmed and they're not even tied into bows. They are not my favorite piece. I would honestly remove these and just tie my own bows on there. And then the way that they've done these, if I get another one of these dolls, I will investigate further. I just don't want to destroy mine. But there's just holes in the head that they have stuck these into. Um, pretty cool. And these are super fun. So I don't know what these are called. Does it say on the box? Um, stretchy pigtails. I, they're like spaghetti. That's what they feel like. And they stretch and return. And they're super in there. You can pull on these pretty hard and they stay. So sorry. Looked like I was holding them in, but see, they stay, so. And they're very fun. I think this is going to be one of the more popular ones because of the pigtails being the, like, central fidget feature. I think that's really exciting. It makes it feel more like, oh, this isn't just a thing the doll is wearing. This is a fidget doll, and I love the way that they have implemented this as a feature on the fashion doll. It's really exciting, and these are just beautiful. And then I'm really impressed with the execution on the outfit. So as you can see, the outfit is quite detailed on the art. And these dolls, they retail for $20. But they have these fidget features that would add quite a bit of, or take up quite a bit of the budget. But the outfits are pretty good quality. I have to say that Watermelos wasn't my favorite, but I'm assuming that 
this was a big chunk of the budget for her. But this outfit is like really nice. So it is a leotard. We'll take off the skirt for now. It's a little leotard. Everything is like finished well. There's this little scalloped edge up here. Over time, this could fray. I'd be worried about that. It's it's not a satin, but it's similar to a satin. And I like this little undershirt thing. It is sewn on, but I think, I mean, it looks like it's meant to be sewn on anyway, but of course, you know, I would prefer if it wasn't. And then it has this little bow here. Not as cute as the bow in the art, but still like they could have skipped that detail and it wouldn't have been a big deal to me. I am using, by the way, this is a pull-up stand. It is hard to find a stand that works for this particular character because of her big skirt. Um, and then the skirt is, well, it's just a donut squishy. They just kind of popped it up onto her and that's quite smart. So these were a thing when I was younger. They used to be a trend on YouTube, I remember, um, when I was like 10 probably. Um, but anyway, I like this because it's fully detailed and painted. I would worry over time though, these notoriously like a stress ball, they will lose chunks and that would kind of ruin a central feature of the doll. But if you care for it and you're careful, it should be fine. I would just be careful getting this involved in any kind of extreme temperature, getting it wet, stuff like that, because this sort of material, again, does flake. And then she has printed on tights, which is interesting because it seems like from the art, she doesn't have tights, but I, I like it. I think it looks good with the design. And then, oh my God, these shoes are gorgeous. Look how cute these are. I love the little like cone waffle cone type heels or like platforms and the little i know they kind of look like pearls but i think they're meant to be like whipped cream it's so so cute and now i'm going to undress the doll so that we can take a look at the articulation for those of you who want to see that before we get to the articulation showcase this is how she compares to two other dolls so this is a rainbow high doll and this is a bff doll really really similar proportions to a rainbow high doll and i will be trying a rainbow high outfit on her just because i know a lot of you guys are probably going to be curious now we're going to take a look at the articulation of the doll so her head has some rotational motion but mostly just a swivel she has really a lot of joints i was very impressed by this because i would expect these dolls to kind of have the standard five articulation points so it's really impressive to see them with the same amount of articulation as a rainbow high doll except that the neck isn't super mobile and then the wrists are only a swivel they don't have the hinge joint unfortunately um the elbows aren't the best joints in the world uh i have this complaint with a lot of dolls but they don't reach like a realistic range of motion i expect at least a right angle they hit an obtuse angle um this doll's so so cute though and i really appreciate that they painted the tights onto the like to match the underwear as well like i think that looks really good oh hello Interesting. Okay, so I believe that is a hole for the wings that come with one of the other dolls. So that's actually quite cool. I did not think they would do that. And I don't remember if that was on the mermaid. I didn't notice if it was. Um, she also has these little... These are meant to help articulate it more, I think. I'm not 100% sure what the purpose of those is, but Rainbow High comes with them too. And she can sit, but without kind of straddling a little, she can't... Oh, look how long her arms are, actually. They prevent a full sit. Um... But yeah, she can sit, but they have to straddle the legs a little bit. Unfortunately, again, the fix for that is very simple. You just have to carve the joint out a little bit. So you could do it yourself, but uh, it's just weird to me that doll companies generally don't. She also has the rotational motion here because the knee joints are double jointed. But same issue as original Rainbow High Dolls, actually. The double joint doesn't function like a double joint. It kind of just functions like a normal joint. And then the feet are not articulated, but that's what they look like. All right, so before we finish up this review, I'm going to switch her into a Rainbow High outfit. The clothing is actually pretty compatible. I'm shocked. So I I knew the shirts would fit fine because I have I put the other outfit on this little custom that I made. But this is a Rainbow High body that she's actually on. And again, I can do a tutorial on this, especially since I have another watermelon that needs help. Um, but anyway, the pants do fit. It's just that they're quite loose. Um... They have a lot thinner waists and hips than Rainbow High do, but you can get away with it. Uh, so that means dresses will fit just fine and skirts will also fit just fine. Pants are the perfect length too. Um, and then they do have flat feet, but as you can see, if you bend the legs, you can get the shoes to look fine. By the way, this is not an outfit that I like intentionally put together. It's just random extra pieces I had near my filming setup. Um, but yeah, also another feature that I forgot to point out is that the wrists, like you can remove the hands at the wrists. It's really difficult for some reason. And... 
I had to use pliers to do it on my other doll, so I'm not even going to bother with that. But some of the outfits cannot be changed without doing that. I actually didn't have to remove her hands to take off this outfit, but um, I wanted to point out that this material is not the like satin-like material I thought. It's like it's a similar material to what Barbie uses often, but it's getting the job done. These have a heavy emphasis on fabric printing. This outfit in particular I think is quite nice. I don't super like Watermelon's outfit. Um, it looks cute on the doll, but in terms of, like, s switching your doll's outfits around, I think this one um, looks quite artificial because of the printed-on little seeds. Um, but other than the seeds, I think that outfit looks really good. I love the poofy sleeve aesthetic that, like, all of these dolls have. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'd love to know what you guys think of Fidgy Friends. I really love these, even if, like, I understand these aren't going to be for everybody, especially adult collectors, but I think those of you who have either have a child or just a child in your life that you wanted to gift something to, I think that these are, like, the ultimate gift for a kid. They are awesome. They're super, super nice dolls. They're an introduction into fashion dolls. They're an introduction into even fashion doll quality. They're not as high a quality as, as say, a Rainbow High doll, but they're also half the price of a typical Rainbow High doll now. And they have all of these really exciting features that I think, honestly, at the $20 price point, unbeatable with the gimmicks. And the gimmicks, to me, don't feel like an excuse for the price. They feel like a justification for the price, which is very important to me because a lot of dolls... There's a gimmick and that's an excuse, but it doesn't feel justified. But in this case, it feels very justified. These are awesome. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for real this time. Also stay tuned. I'm really, really hoping that I can get a hold of especially the butterfly character. But if not, if I can't get a hold of her myself, I'm, you'll see. We have plans. Uh, anyway, for real this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.